everybody. Welcome to Taste to Explore. My name is Darlene. Now today I'm going to make something so easy and delicious. We are making garlic bread. So stick around. It's so super easy, super delicious. Now come, let's get started. We have an 8 ounce Italian bread. We have pepper to taste. I have about a handful, which is about one third Italian parsley. I have a half a cup of grated mozzarella cheese. I have about three tablespoons of fresh Romano cheese. I have about 11, 11 cloves of garlic. I have two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. And we're going to use one stick of butter, which is unsalted. So let's get right to it. This is where we're going to mix everything all together. Now, in the mixer, we're going to put the garlic. I'm going to put the olive oil. This is going to be nice and garlicky and just all so, so good. This is the kind of stuff that you eat in restaurants. Oh, my God. I mean, who doesn't like garlic? It's just really fantastic. Some um, pepper to taste and Italian parsley. Now my butter is at room temperature and you want to do that because you want to have a nice blend. A spoon or your spatula just bring everything down so that way everything can get mixed in and incorporated okay let's do it again okay our garlic mixture is done all right look at that nice and creamy that's the way I like it it smells fantastic so easy look and i like how you see how the little specks of parsley that's excellent that's really excellent so i'm gonna scrape up and try to get all the goodness that's in here so as you notice i didn't put any salt in yet because the romano cheese can be quite salty and mind you this is a nice garlicky, cheesy type of spread. So taste this while you put this in first because in case it gets too salty, you don't want to you know, make, a, make a salty dish. So we're just going to mix this up. Put in a teaspoon and a half of salt. So taste as you go. As I was um, tasting it off camera, of course, um, it didn't, it needed a little bit more salt. So I'm just gonna taste it again after putting on all the salt and mixing it in, Ooh. and mixing it in. And it's absolutely, I think it's fantastic now. And it's perfect. So, a half a teaspoon more of salt or according to your taste buds okay so now let's begin now what i did here was i have a cookie sheet I, want to this out the way. I have a cookie sheet lined with aluminum foil and this is how we're going to do it we cut this already in half that's exactly what i'm doing here I'm just stretch it out Oops. Okay, the breaks on you. A okay with that. Then you're gonna take a nice glob full and you're gonna spread this bad boy right on. So don't be cheap. Spread, give some love, make sure every area has a good a good spread of this. 
and it's going to be so darn good because homey represents to me love it represents the goodness from home so i'm going to put on some mozzarella cheese put on as little or as much as you like all right so i preheated my oven to 350 and we're going to leave this in there for about 20 to 25 minutes just give it a look until it's nice and bubbly and crunchy and then that's when you know this is done welcome back well my garlic cheesy bread is done look at this bad boy right here it took about 25 minutes on 350 and let me tell you how scrumptious this smells right now so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna remove it out of my cookie sheets you hear the crunch and that is like obsession right there i love it i love it i love it i love when it's crispy and it's delicious and it smells absolutely fantastic i'll take a bite and i like the corners so i'm gonna take a bite right here Mm, 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 mm. so good so good taste is right on point for spending time with me in my kitchen i hope you give this a try it's absolutely delicious and easy to put together it will complement any dish you make okay so thank you so much i'll see you again Bye-bye.